Hi there, Serial Trader here. I just want to have a quick update on gold. And I won't go into the larger uh, time frame because nothing's changed on that yet from my last uh, gold video that I've done. But you can certainly refer to that if you so choose. Uh, but what I want to focus on is here, okay, so we have this, uh, what so far is still held as the bottom in March of 2021 for gold. Now to me, this still looks like a nice impulsive wave up for probably the initial wave one. Okay, we just did a big correction from August of last year into that March low. Okay, and so far that has been the extent of that correction. So initial impulse wave up, so one up. Now we have a three wave move down to a higher low. And certainly on the gold futures here, we got real close to that March low, but it held. So one up, ABC down for two. Now we had a nice impulsive reaction off of that spike down there. And you can certainly get a five wave move out of that from our, let's call it 9th of August low to our 3rd of September high. And now we appear to have done a three wave correction. So ABC down for a two. So potentially a one, two, one, two, wave three of three uh, dead ahead if this is correct. So this is potentially a very bullish uh, setup that will lead to significantly higher gold prices. And don't worry about where I have the sub-label labels here for wave three. It would be quite a bit higher than this, but uh, they're just basically placeholders for this current purpose. So some things to look at. Okay, uh, some I'll, I'll just give some levels to be long against and some scenarios about that. So if you just want to basically not worry about too much, just go long here on gold futures or GLD or whatever whatever vehicle you choose and stay long as long as we maintain those March lows on, on the gold uh, futures contract, which is 1673 and change. Okay. So basically you can enter a long position and just stay long as long as that level holds, or you could enter a long position. I mean, it doesn't really matter that much and be long against this level, which should be only slightly higher at 1677.9, let's just call it 1678. Or you could wait here and make sure that this thing isn't just gonna fall apart and that we got it wrong and there's still more downside below the March lows. You could wait for this little ABC down currently as it looks to reverse up, get above this level here. So get above the B wave high at 1810.6. And then once you get a confirmed move above that, enter long there for the breakout and then use whatever low we end up making if it's not already in here as your initial stop. So there's different ways to do this, but the really the, the key level still is the March low, 1673. Uh, I mean, there could be some shorter term key levels, but that that's really what keeps the overall chart bullish uh, as long as that level holds here. And I, I do like it. We got five up, three down and then what appears to be another five up and another three down so really expecting another five up of you know multiple degrees at this point as long as these lows hold um so yeah that's all i really want to point out um if we go over to gdx which i currently have a little nothing substantial but a little uh, position in uh you can see we just keep you know, testing this 30 area. Uh, and I have a, if we go to the weekly chart here, I have a little horizontal line there just kind of showing this shelf of support, which was, by the way, kind of a former resistance area back here. So as long as this, again, as long as this basically holds, any of it kind of gets violated, which certainly could happen. I mean, since GDX are actual gold mining stocks, if the actual overall stock market shows some weakness even if gold doesn't get pulled down with it you could certainly see those companies temporarily get caught up in kind of a risk-off moment but really as long as the gold uh, uptrend or the gold pattern itself remains intact the, this just isn't going to go that much farther down and diverge too much from gold and then all of a sudden it'll correlate with gold strongly so if gold actually does what it looks like it's attempting to do and starts a major move up then the gold mining stocks 
should do quite well under that circumstance. And really, again, you got this kind of clear area to define along against this 30 area. Uh, and even today, we slightly violated. Okay, so the low here in March on GDX was 30.64. Today, we went as low as 30.59. And uh, no follow through at all. Just kind of a little bounce off that area. So wouldn't rule out a little short-term spike down. But it doesn't have to happen. Uh, but that, I my, my main message is don't worry too much about GDX. It's pretty correlated with gold, even though it can diverge a little bit from time to time. It, it, you can stay bullish the overall gold space, you know, gold stocks and gold itself, as long as gold holds its uh, significant lows, which it currently still is. All right, just thought I'd bring that up. Um... Now, the possibility of gold entering a major uptrend here. Now, does that mean that it's a risk-off moment and gold is being viewed as kind of a safe haven play? It could be. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes gold goes down with everything else. Sometimes it doesn't. So I'm not sure what, if anything, that implies about the overall stock market. Uh, personally, I'd love to see a bigger correction on the overall stock market. And I'd love to see gold uh, go up a lot during that time. Doesn't mean it'll happen, but... I certainly see the potential for something like that happening. Uh, anyway, I just thought I'd uh, bring that up since there has been some notable activity on the uh, gold chart here. And really, uh, as far as I'm concerned, it is still bullish in, in, until and unless uh, that March 2021 level gets taken out. And right now, that doesn't look likely to me because we've got fives going up and threes going down and key levels holding. Uh, so this is looking like a pretty interesting bullish setup. It just needs to actually confirm and, and start going up. All right, Serial Trader signing off.